I, Thomas Enshaw, of Blakely, in the county of Lancaster, do make this my last will and testament, wherein, if it pleases God to remove me from this mortal plane, then I make this my wish, that a blind asylum be established in the great city of Manchester, in the provision that those who by a grievous calamity have lost their sight may never lose their hope, in order that my final wish and intentions be carried out, I bequeath the sum of £20,000 for the establishment of said charity to be a beacon for those cast in darkness. Signed, Thomas Henshaw. Henshaw's Society for Blind People was established in 1837 from a legacy left by philanthropist Thomas Henshaw. Henshaw's is a specialist charity providing expert support, advice and training to anyone affected by sight loss. We also work with people with other disabilities, and because sight loss and disability affects family, friends and colleagues, we work with them too. Our services run in the north of England, with centres and communities in Harrogate, Knaresborough, Manchester, Merseyside and Newcastle. We've got fun and educational activities, parent groups, holiday clubs, a centre of room and toy library, support for ethnic minority families and loads more. We run the Children and Families Service and we provide information and support for children and families who may have visual impairment. Um, we run a parent and toddler group every week for um, parents to bring along their children who may be visually impaired. Um, and also we have a Viper group which is visually impaired parents and relatives which is support for parents who have a visual impairment um, and they currently meet monthly. Skill Step to Success is a free 12-week course for people who want to work, volunteer or continue studying. It blends a mix of IT, career guidance and work placement. And over 90% of our Skill Steppers continue into further education, voluntary work or employment. Bill Milner began his journey with Henshaws as a service user and is now the manager of Henshaws in Merseyside. Um, skill Step um, addresses the needs of people who have been long term on a benefit dependency, maybe they've lost a sight later in life, so they haven't come through the, the standard um, schools for visually impaired people. They may have um, lost the sight in the teens or twenties. Um, if they've been in employment, often they fall out of employment and um, they're often long term incapacity benefit claimants, so they might have not worked for 10, 15 years and skill step gets them back into a frame of mind where they, 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 they realise they can work if they want to work or go into voluntary work or further in higher education. In Henshaw's community housing, our homely houses are designed for people with visual impairments or other learning disabilities. and They allow residents to live independently in a supported, safe and caring environment. To an extent the VI community can get left behind because uh, people occasionally see a person with a stick or see somebody with a dog but it's off the con it's off the radar off the consciousness much of the time people feel that they're getting on with their lives but actually the VI community and people in it have got a great deal to offer and that what they want to do is they want to be um, free members of the community and, and they want to go on Facebook and they want to email their friends and they want to go out and do their shopping and go, go out socially the same as everybody else and it's trying to give people, Henshaws is about trying to give people those life skills to do that. With Henshaws IT training, we have the latest technology and professional trainers to help service users get to grips with IT. There are also options to gain recognised qualifications in our friendly and accessible IT suite. Throughout the north of England, over 70% of blind and visually impaired people are over 60 years old and we help inform and guide older people to get the best out of their lives and enable them to live more independently. This is the high spot of my week. Yes, and mine so too. So you, you've got an idea of what yeah. my week's like. I mean, if I don't come here, the only time I go out is either to the doctors, the dentist, or the hospital appointment. 
Oh, if I didn't come here, there's no point in getting dressed up for anything. No. And we've all done them so far. It's well worth the, the, the coming. And it certainly isn't any effort because we're so well looked after. Henshaw's Further Education College specialises in visual impairment and caters for students with disabilities aged between 16 and 22. The college enables every student to reach his or her maximum level of independence, gain vocational skills and supports the transition into adult life. Henshaw's Arts and Crafts Centre in Knaresborough supports people with disabilities to reach their true potential by providing them with independent skills and vocational training in a social enterprise environment. Activities range from working in one of our arts and craft production units to developing valuable IT and cooking skills. I think the, 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 the attitude towards visually impaired people has changed and I think um, you know, now there is, more, there is more opportunity and um, you know, um, we provide, as I say, basic grassroots services for people. So I don't think we've changed that much but we've modernised, we've certainly modernised and we, are, we hope that our services are um, relevant to the day's needs. Pity we do not want, assistance we do need from time to time. But just as our fellow workers come to make their own way to work, do a day's work and return home under their own such steam, so do we. I think Thomas Henshaw would be proud of, of, of the services we provide. We've never moved away from our grassroots. We, we're, not, you know, we're, we're not like some other organisations who, who forget what they were. We've always stayed true to what Thomas Henshaw um, wanted to provide and that was meaningful work. For people who are visually impaired and I think we still try and provide um, those, the services that will lead them to that. I like to feel that uh, Thomas Henshaw would be really proud if he came back today and looked at what we were doing and looked at the developments that we're doing for people throughout the age range he'd be really, really, really proud.